Life is precious. But for some, life can't continue without the generosity of others. Hello. Without the blood and blood products, I wouldn't be alive. For some, it can be a struggle to survive. Can you help me? I'm a police officer. I've been stabbed. Put your hands up. I'm bleeding. I just said, you're going to be all right, mate. The ambos are here. I felt like someone had, like, hit me over the back of the head. Everything just went black, and then it started spinning, and then I got cramps, and I just thought, oh, God, I'm going to lose my baby now. They were running my bed down a hall. It was just like lights just, like, going past, and I was in a theatre and out. It takes hope. Oh, my God, this is really happening for him, so you get really scared because... You know, they might not survive. It takes courage. It was a huge shock to realise that maybe I could have had cancer. We just broke down into tears. We didn't really want to let each other go. You just go into a survival mode. Despite all the blood transfusion that we were giving him, his heart was running on close to empty. We need help. There's actually a risk of losing my whole family. At that stage, it was the edge of the cliff moment. When you look back or think back at it, it's just it's, um, quite overwhelming. I looked around and saw the snakes. It really was life and death. It takes the whole community. They tell me I have saved the lives of 2.4 million babies. People that donate blood, they're superheroes. Feels good doing it, really. I survived. I can breathe. It saved my life. If I hadn't donated blood, I'd be dead. It makes our job so rewarding that you can see what the, the blood and the blood products can do for someone. I'm so grateful to be healthy that I squish as much as I can into every day. <laughs> you know, there are just no words to, to say how thankful we are because I wouldn't be here and Harry wouldn't be here. We go behind the scenes to share the heartwarming stories of giving life.